We are following breaking news north of Camp Pendleton, and that's where we find Fox 5's Sholly Zomorodi. Sholly, can you hear us? Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Raul. Good morning. So we understand that the 5 is closed in both directions because a police pursuit has just ended. Can you tell us what you see, Sholly? Uh, I wouldn't say just ended. We've been sitting on the freeway for at least an hour and a half now. Uh, just a few feet away from me is that white BMW uh, that they've been in pursuit of since about 8.40 last uh, night. Uh, just a few feet away from me just moments ago, I could see a, a few drones uh, over the car. The helicopter has been over for quite some time. At around 4.30 in the morning, uh, maybe a little bit earlier when I got on the freeway, you could see about 30 to 40 police officers right in front of me, just a few feet away. I could see San Diego police, Orange County Sheriff, Highway Patrol. Uh, what started uh, last night in San Diego, from what we know and what we're hearing from San Diego PD, uh, there was a call that came in from a woman who ran from her home. She didn't have clothes on. She said that she had been assaulted by her boyfriend. San Diego police did arrive to help her and take a report. And that's when uh, apparently the suspect, this boyfriend, fled the scene. She did give them a description of the car and said that he also had a gun. Uh, later in the evening, officers did locate that car. This was around uh, Christina and Raul around eight o'clock last night. We're now at six o'clock in the morning. And as um, I'm talking to you, I see a few special weapons and tactics team from the Orange County Sheriff's Department, about three or four large, five, six, seven large tanks uh, all arriving uh, on scene. Uh, if you're planning on leaving San Diego County, you're taking the five around Barcelona, or you're expecting anybody coming from LA or Orange County, the freeway has been shut down now for uh, at least an hour and a half. And from what I'm seeing over here in the next few minutes, this doesn't look like it's going to open up. By the way, Raul and Christina, about 30 minutes after this started and the freeway came to a complete standstill in both directions, uh, just right in front of my car, you could see three women uh, in their pajamas, bathrobes, uh, visibly just shaken up and crying, uh, maybe possibly talking to the person who was in the car. They were a little too far away for me to hear exactly what they were saying, but they were pretty shaken up and it looks like they were talking to whoever the suspect was. And those people were from another car who went up to the white BMW to talk to the suspect? Mm -hmm. No, I'm I'm separated, Raul, right now between about 30 to 40 different uh, police vehicles. Uh, about 30 minutes after they shut down the freeway, right in front of my car, um, they escorted three women, and they were all wearing bathrobes and pajamas, and they were crying, and they were standing right in front of my car. Mm. Uh, looked like they were using their cell phone to call, and they were looking in that direction. Uh, looks like they were talking to the person who was in that car on their phone. Wow. Uh, and from past experience in covering things like this, Shelly, we know that, you know, time is on their side at this point. If they have to shut down the freeway for the entire morning, they will in order to end this peacefully, right? So they have the police presence there, but they're willing at this point, if they have control, to wait this guy out. You know, Raul, it's very interesting that you say that because we just talked to Sheriff Bill Gore yesterday on, on our morning show, and we were talking about this very uh, thing that uh, if needed, they want to be able to end things peacefully if possible, and all the training and things that have happened over the past year that they are willing to, to wait things out. As I'm saying this, like if this started at 8 o'clock at night, at 6 o'clock in the morning, this pursuit started at 10 p.m., so, uh, you know, we're going almost eight hours on, on this pursuit here uh, and all uh, of the sheriffs, Orange County now is here, San Diego PD. I see a ton of San Diego police officers in front of me and I'll say highway patrol in just a few minutes, right when we went on live. I don't know if you could hear the sirens. Uh, it looks like some tactical teams show up and just a few feet away from me, I see them pulling out quite a bit of equipment there. They have drones flying over um, uh, the, the car, and it looks like more people are now arriving on scene. Some of the people that are behind me, I'm in the first row, so I see everything um, without any obstruction. They were getting out of their cars and coming out and talking to the police officers, asking them what's happening and when is this going to be over. All I could hear the officers telling them was that there is an armed suspect there, and they don't know when 
this will be over. So there's going to cause major delays for anybody heading in and out of San Diego County this morning. You know, Shali, when we first heard word of what was going on and we had heard that you were actually stuck in the traffic, we didn't really know what to expect. And then we see this video that you shot, you sent back and we're, we're watching it right now. I mean, I have to, I, I admit, I was shocked. I was like, oh my goodness, is she right in the thick of it? Like you, you're right there in front. Did you get out of your car and shoot this video as well? Well, I just rolled down my window. Like I mm. said, I'm right behind um, the first uh, line. So I could just hang my uh, head out the window and do this. I do see a lot more people now getting out of the car um, and they're starting to, to, you know, turn on their cell phones mm. to be able to, to shoot what's going on. Even the family or friends of, of the suspect, if I had to assume that that's who they were, they were even recording uh, the scene uh, just a, a, a little bit earlier. So I haven't, I've been on the, the freeways for many years of my life. Usually these are accidents. Actually, hold on one second. I see the um, family or friends walking back now towards, they're just a few feet away from me. I'm still in their bathrobes and in their pajamas and they, they look really, really upset. Mm. They look really upset. Yeah, there's a, quite a bit of movement. They just, I may not make it to the um, show anytime soon. Uh, they're just now putting up yellow police tape across the freeway. So again, if if you're headed out of San Diego County today, because the five is one of the big ways out or you're coming in, mm -hmm. uh, I would expect major, major delays. They just put up a big yellow tape that says police line do not cross ac across the whole freeway. Wow. Uh, and that's across the northbound lanes? Uh, this is the southbound, but on the northbound side, right around Barcelona, if you're familiar with the mm -hmm. area, San Onofre State Beach. This is, I mean, I saw a few um, uh, people from Camp Pendleton also trying to get by and telling them that they got to get to work. Uh, so this is right around that Camp Pendleton area from San Clemente that's coming into uh, the San Diego area. So it doesn't look like anybody's going to get in or get out anytime soon. Oh boy. Okay. Well, they're putting up that tape, and and obviously, no matter what happens here, they they understand how important of an artery that five freeway is. Mm -hmm. So, um, for them to do something like this, obviously, uh, it's a big event. Yes. And so everybody's patience will be needed uh, to get through this. But they're going to try their best to clear that freeway as soon as they can. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I would I would plan around it if you can yeah. take alternative yeah. routes uh, anytime this morning. I would do that and hopefully this will end all peacefully. Absolutely, and of, of course, safety is the priority here. Charlie, thank you so much for calling in. We'll maybe check back with you in just a little bit.